This special meeting of the City of Eureka Springs City Council meeting will come to order. The, <clears throat> the only item on the agenda not to be discussed is the proposed 2012 budget and the ordinance pertaining to. Before you, you have an ordinance explaining uh, the budgets that's before you, this is the same budget that was presented to you on December the 1st by the uh, finance director. It is a balanced budget and there is a surplus on this budget. And you can you can read it or you can discuss it. <clears throat> Before we have any discussion, it's been brought up to my attention that there may be some public comments, so we're going to need to vote to have public comments tonight if Councilor so desires. I would move to allow public comments. A second. I'll second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. No. Okay. No. No. No public comment then. Dean, you would know. Did we say yes on public comment? <clears throat> what was Ken? Well, that's what we're going to find out. Ken, what was your no. vote? Okay. Okay. Four against and two for. Motion fails. <clears throat> All right. Since you voted to have no, no public comment, the floor is open for discussion. Mr. DeVito. I would move to give this ordinance a number and place it on its first reading. Second. For a discussion? Yes. Whatever we do as, as a council, we have to have the budget in place first. I mean, whatever was done at the last meeting requires that the budget be adopted if you're going to cut it. So this is where we have to be tonight. For a discussion? Mr. Baker. It's also my understanding, too, that we have to have a budget in place today, uh, by the end of today. Uh, in order for us to continue operating and be able to cut checks. That's my understanding from Arkansas Municipal League. Uh, what we want to do to amend it later on, we can amend like we've done any other budget. This is strictly a budget, so something we need to do. Ms. I thought we passed something regarding the budget at our last meeting. Was that vetoed? When are we allowed yes, to address the veto? The next regular meeting. At the next regular meeting. Yes, ma'am. <coughs> this has nothing to do with that budget. Pardon? This has nothing to do with the budget that was proposed last time. This is a balanced budget. Any further? I should have been I'd just like to reiterate what uh, Councilman Barry said is that as, as of 12 o'clock tonight, we have to have a budget <coughs> in place. I mean, whatever we do with it after that is up to the majority of the council. But by law, we have to have a budget by the end of the day today. Yep. We were in first, which is midnight tonight. Yes, Lonnie, you can. The ordinance you have before you, <clears throat> on the left-hand side, of course, you can see the estimated revenues are $8,197,300. On the left-hand side, or the right-hand side, excuse me, uh, the appropriations for each fund, you can go down through there and look at each one of them, those total $7,366,531. That gives you a surplus on this budget that you have before you of $830,769. Once again. $830,769. Now, if you pass this budget, like someone said earlier, and I've done considerable research on this, you can adjust it any time 
in 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, however you choose. But with that kind of <coughs> surplus, I think that you ought to look at this budget very seriously because we're not <coughs> in bad shape. We anticipate these revenues, and these revenues are really conservative. And um, <coughs> I just read before I came up here that, you know, the Dow Jones has had the best January that it's had since 1997, I believe. So, you know, there's lots of, I think, exciting things that are on the, the agenda for Eureka Springs. So, I'll answer any questions that anyone has or attempt to. If not, I'll find the answer for you and get back to you. But I just want to make you aware of this, of this surplus that we have. Now, <clears throat> I have a novel idea, if I might present it to you, is no one got any pay increases. They're not reflected in this budget, no city employee. What if, just what if you gave all city employees across the board a 3% increase instead of reducing them? And we can do that with this budget. Our total payroll for 2011 was two million seven hundred and thirty five thousand two hundred and forty five dollars and seventy five cents. That's what the city of Eureka's payroll was. For Would you repeat that? Two million seven hundred and thirty five thousand two hundred and forty five dollars and seventy five cents. Now if you granted Based on this, and this is what the W 2s total. So that's all overtime, that's all everything. If you granted a 3% based on this number, that would be less than $90,000. So I'm just throwing that out there for you to think about in your deliberation <coughs> on, on this budget. Mr. Pally, you had a question? Could I have the totals again for the revenues and appropriations? I'm sorry, Mr. Pound. The totals for the revenues and okay. appropriations? Okay, sure. <coughs> the revenues total $8,197,300. The expenses, $7,366,000. Five hundred and thirty-one dollars. That leaves a surplus of eight hundred and thirty thousand seven hundred and sixty-nine dollars. So, if you granted the pay increase that I just suggested, threw out there for your consideration, you would still have a surplus of over. Seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Ms. Bounds? What were our actuals for last year? The revenues and the expenditures? I don't have those numbers with me, I'm sorry. I don't have that. But they're very close to what we have right here. What has the trend been with our surplus? Is our surplus growing or decreasing? Um I that I I think it's been growing, quite frankly, but I'll have to check it. I'll have to check it. Anybody else? Further discussion? Thank you. Mr. Domino? Well, uh, the numbers bear out, you know, the state of uh, Eureka Springs, and it's... Uh, pretty good snapshot of you know how how the city's doing uh i think with a budget surplus of over eight hundred thousand dollars there shouldn't be any problem in approving the budget as presented. anyone else mr Pally, you had a question 
No, we'll call for the vote. We, we, we've got a motion on the floor, though. Is that correct? There's a motion to uh, <coughs> place uh, to give this ordinance a number and place it on its first reading. Okay. Roll call. Mr. DeVito? Yes. Mr. Raphael? No. Mr. Pownall? No. Dr. Kirkpatrick? No. Ms. Bounds? No. Mr. Berry? Yes. Two to four. No. Motion fails. No ordinance. Anything else, Mr. DeVito? Move to adjourn. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? No. One, two. Was that a no vote on your not to adjourn, Mr. Uh, Reno? Yes, say? to adjourn. Okay. Okay. Five and one. Thank you, folks. Are we adjourned? Yep. We are adjourned. Yep. That was the topic.